Good morning and welcome to Kakaki Sports. I am Simbi Shima. We'll begin the show this morning by saying a big congratulations to all Nigerians across the leagues who have emerged champions with their various clubs this season. Super Falcons forward and five-time Africa's best female footballer of the year, Aziza Toshola, and her club Barcelona Feminist Coupe de la Liga title for the fourth successive time with four more games to go to the end of the season. Oshola's international teammate Christy Ochepe also won the Portuguese league with her club Benfica Femino for for the third straight time with two more games to spare meanwhile on the african continent super eagles forward anayo iwala is one point away from clinching his first title with the algerian top flight Sial Belize dad who are going for their tenth title as they currently sit on top of the log with 48 points well we expect more trophies from nigerian players as various leagues prepare to wrap up for the season. Moving on to the MPFL High Flying Vendor Insurance have emerged the have emerged the first club side to qualify for the Nigeria Professional Football League Super Six and are still unbeaten after seventeen games this season. The Benin Arsenal this weekend played as a one or draw with shooting stars of Ibadan at the Samuel Obumedia Stadium. Aqua United defeated Economy Warriors 2 new to send the Economy Bono team back to the second tier of the Nigeria National League, while Nasser United also got relegated after one nil loss to Quara United. Recall that Kada first got relegated on Saturday and one more team from the Group B will be relegated to make it four on March Day 18. At the game for me over the weekend, it was the game between Remo Stars and, and, Play and, Play Remo Star and Plateau United. Yes. Plateau United has never lost this season at, at home. home. Yeah. And Kudos to our, our reporter there, uh, uh, Wackers Quafoot, who mm. sent us uh, visuals from that particular encounter. You have to see some of these mm. spectacular goals from both teams. Yes. Long range effort uh, from both Plateau United and Lemon Stars. And Lemon Stars were able to pick that vital yeah, wager, and, and also gradually heard having their way to the, back, Super yeah, six. to the Super Six. And I also heard the, almost a, a ruffle there, but somehow the security yeah, yeah, personnel yeah, yeah, came, yeah, yeah. came able on to, yeah, and they were able to steady. Yes. And one interesting part of our Lemon Stars is the, the comeback of one of their very formidable player, a national team player. Who yeah, was, I like, oh, yeah, also. just on his yeah, first touch also. into the, his, yeah. you know, the first second half of the game, exactly. he scored, and that's a good one because he has been out of the game for a while. That was a winning goal, actually. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, uh, for me, it was Eimba going against Gombe United. You say it was expected, but again, looking at the log, Eimba has actually moved from, you know, from third place, from his second place, be, way behind them, table toppers uh, and Bender insurance. insurance. So they are just like three points away. So if you ask me at this point, yeah, but you know definitely the table is aligned already. Lobby stars, Rivers United, Doma United, United, a team that just got elevated uh, uh, yes. to the uh, top tier football. Yeah. Going to the Super Six is so impressive for me. Two teams that just got elevated. Talking about Bender Insurance also going to the Super Six, it shows you what has been done with our league. Move on. But let's now move to the English Premier League, where it is intense for Manchester City and title contenders Arsenal. Oh, Sterling yeah, Chelsea. Chelsea. And Bournemouth, um, the fan club has first to win. Or is it too late? Or is this something that uh, we see again in the last few games? Today we have Fulham going against Leicester City, Brighton against Everton. That's um, Nottingham Forest against bottom place Southampton. Uh, what's, the, what's, what's the most unique thing about this this fixture? Yeah, Jesus, yeah. Uh, and they are just battling for but, survival. Um, if we had time, we have spoken about something that is trending on the internet, but there's no time. About, However, about, about, the about picture the, between uh, the, the Quas, of Naples, uh, Quastelia, Vichar Castella and uh, Victor Osime. All right, well, let's leave it at that. Let's tell you that uh, on the 17th, the Golden Eagles of Nigeria in Algeria have qualified for the quarterfinals of the going, ongoing on AFCON in Algeria. And they'll be taking on Burkina Faso in the next game. Well, congratulations to them. I hope that they get the ticket. They're hoping to pick their 13th ticket for the Under-17 World Cup coming up later in the year. So that's the much we can take on the show this morning. Thanks for watching. I am Simbishima.